يا ريت لو صوت ما في انا شايف اخ اخ فران قالوا انه ما في صوت يا ريت اف يو كان هير مي ذات وود بي جود معلش ساعات احيانا مشاكل بتاعت تكنولوجيا شويه بيكون صعب يا ريت اف يو كان هير مي بليز ليت مي نو اف يو كان هير مي ليت مي نو بليز يس رايت كومنت داون لاي ذات يو كان هير مي If you can hear me, please let me know. So we can go ahead with our show. Yes, let me know if you can hear me. Mr. Franco, William Ayok, if you can hear me, please let me know. Mr. if you can hear me too, let me know. So uh, where's the comment? No comment? All good. Thank you, Ugit. Let's go, Akhui. Thank you, Ugit. Thank you. Thank you. Sabah al-khir, Malakal. Sabah al-khir, Yad al-Ajaj. Sabah al-khir, Yaqalba al-Nabit, Lil Mamluk al-Cholo. Sabah al-khir, Ya Asim al-Wilad al-Nil. Sabah al-khir, Kaman, Lekulu ahl al-khir. Akhwani, أهلي داخل وخارج أرض آه وخارج أرض الوطن أهلي في إسوائية أنا عايز أحييكم أنا بسلم عليكم أهلي في أويل أهلي في رومبيك أهلي اللوا أنا بابا بحييكم مرة أخرى وكمان أهلي في ولاية الوحدة أهلي نوير أنا عايز أحييكم كمان آه ما عليه ما على مقاع أخواني أهلي في ولاية على النيل انتلو من في شمال على النيل آه في الرن مولود مال مال باكال انا عايز احييكم وكمان انا بقول لكم صباح الخير صباح الخير لاهلنا في داخل مدينه مال باكال وكمان صباح الخير لاهلنا في مدينه الرن وكمان صباح الخير لاهلنا في مدينه وفي كل المقاطعات بتاع الولايه على النيل اخواني اخواتي عندي ضيف ضيف عزيز ضيف له امكانيات مع عادية الليلة انه هنتكلم في اشياء ما بيخص ريبابليك اوف ساوث سودان. وي هاف بين وي هاف بوت اور فوكس سينس وي ستارتد ذيس يو نو بلاتفورم وي وير اولويز توكينج اباوت ذا ايشو ويش افكتينج اور بيبول ان ريبابليك اوف ساوث سودان. بات وي هاف نيجلكتد يو نو اور سيلف. وي هاف اولسو كرايسيس هير ان استراليا اف يو ار ان استراليا If you are in United States, if you are in Canada, we have a lot of issues, and we are here to touch on a few of them. What I mean, something called a mortgage. Yeah, and how you be who's grush? What about grush? They are um with that mishak kula. Grush, they are um with that mishak kula. The kind of coins you know come on. It then is old. هو عارف فاهم كويس هنسمع منه الليله واكيد الحدف من الحلقه دي انه تو ريليس ذا ستريس فروم فروم اور اون فروم فروم اس وي ذا وان هو از ان اور سايد وي بيبول هو ار ان استراليا ان كندا ان ان يونايتد ستيت وي ار هير تو كام اوت وذ سم فيو اوبشنز اون هاو وي كان اكشلي enjoy our life because we are not enjoying it at all we are running like a rat we are running from work to work we cannot even we don't have even time to speak to sit down with our with our with our own kids and share a meal as yes one 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 family why because uh, the mother will be running after his work the father will be going after his work and the kids are left alone and that's why 
you can see, you know, we have a lot of issue here. Yagali. We have a lot of issue in in outside issue is of real issues, even more than what is going on uh, right now in our own uh, you know homeland. In our in our ho in our own homeland, if we have uh, 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 you know, if we have Horia Bajana Logajina, uh Horia Bajana, I don't see will, there will be no issue. But we, the one who is outside, we are really, really uh tight and we are under stress, and that's why we are here with our own brother, Wahid Gidir. Gidir uh uh Yhush fi Mahal Mafizol, Yomla Ya it waka in the Mukin Yasahinak. Like in Tarif, you can you can uh, decide what you want to do for for, for yourself, and our brother Otor have done it. Shankida, and 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 Hanegi, it can come out. Well, come on, government and come out. Hana to Arab Allah, you know, who is he? Who he see with the kid? Who Jamie Wayne? Who is a good result? Let it who feel that good real you know, company. Company which can actually deal not in thousands, not in hundreds. Company who deals in millions, millions. If you can hear me, millions. Company who who has been trusted by many people. Someone who has uh, who gave, you know, himself for his own community. He's here to talk with you. And also with me because Anna Kaman, a kid and has a fit, mean no rush with that, you know, Elena. Akwani, Akwati, if you can try to share this post, please, that will be good. I'll guess with Anna, more you feel is studio. Well, I'm not sure what's going on with the the, the salt. Halini Ajibo Sotor, where Anna has, where Anna has, Anna Bahawa Shari Lognia, who yared Los Old Marquois, please call him Nikois. Los Old Marquois, there's something wrong with my uh, audio. I'm not sure what's going on here, but Los Old Marquois. Please let me know. Let me khaleni khaleni ne ashagal ohne da gable ma najib sadotor.
صباح الخير ملكال صباح الخير يا قلب نابج لمملكة شلو صباح الخير لكل أهل الخير كمان أخواني أخواتي داخل وخارج هذا الوطن أنا عايز أحييكم تاني أنا عايز أروح إبا إجول ومعي هنا واحد له مكان كبير جدا في أستراليا شلو له دور ملموس هي is the founder and he is the CEO of company called Tar Finance. أخوي تور أنا عايز أروح بك وأنا عايز أشكرك كمان إنك أنت قبلت دعوة أنت ما you know غريب على you know على this you know you know platform. أنت واحد من الناس who actually were able to invent this you know platform. أستاذ تور قبل ما أنا أمشي معك وحنتعرف على الأول قبل ما نخش في مشاكل بتاع قروش وسيطر لك زمن ما جيت هنا أكيد الناس كانت قاعد تسأل ويرس وسيطر أخوي ده وقت آه كمان إنك تحيي الجمهور الموجود المشاهد والعيشاحد أخوي تفضل If you can unmute yourself If you can, if you can unmute yourself, please. I can hear you now. I can hear you now. Hello. Hello. I, I can hear you, Sultan. I'm not actually hearing you. Oh, really? This means we have to issue. out and back again. Yes, if you can lock out and come back again, that'll be good. Okay, let me just remove you, and then I would like to welcome you back again. I think there is some issue with my. Um... Okay, let me just remove you, and then let me remove it. I think there is some issue with my um, audio. I don't know what's going on. Please let me know if you can hear me. Please, uh, I is all module online. If you can hear me, please let me know, because I I'm really struggling here trying to get this issue uh, fixed. Well, there is nothing new actually. That's what I always do. Uh, let me bring that one up here. The headphones. That's good. That's good. There is nothing there. Everything is connected. Please let me know if you can hear me. So the get if you can hear me, please let me know. And halala, and 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 halala, we are going to talk about will explain more in English. Because we want this, uh, you know, message to go across. We want it to go to everyone. Because mashakil bitar al mal, then mashakil al diamond bejib bejib azma. Ustadator, let me bring you back. Are you hearing me now? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Thank God. Thank God that you can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> that's the technology, man. That's that, that the technology, you know. Akhwani. <laughs> uh, Akhwani al Mujur online, if you can try to share the, uh, the show, please, because this issue is affecting all of us, especially we are the one who is outside. If you are in, if you are in Australia, if you are in uh, United States, if you are in, 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 in Canada, this show is for you. We are here trying to find out how we can live our, how, how we can live our life easily, how we can enjoy how we can enjoy our life here. Because at the moment, we are not enjoying it at all. We are running around trying to make ends meet. We are running after Grush. And the money also is, is you know, running away. So things are really going going worse here. Sir Hayanan, Zuj, you know, Al-Aila, Al-Marab Talbid, Al-Rajil, Laman, Zul Kun Shagal Bilal. ليش قال بصار حيانا صعب إنك الواحد يلقى وقت عشان تقعد مع إيالك just to sit down with your kids and have a good meal all of you in one place is tough very tough that's what we are here trying to discuss and that's we and that's and how and how uh, our brother Otor who who have helped many people Otor have helped many people had made many people millionaires if you want to be a millionaire if you want to have if you want to live a life easy life please come here listen 
tutor, you will get some good advice which will help you. My uh, brother Otto, and I'm a teacher. Malaysia is so much and quite. Akui, enter Madif, ala ala you know, Kanab Canada. Enter Min Wahid, who actually uh, invented this uh, you know platform. Akui, and I share Habib Kani. We are ready to hear the Jamhur Bidak. Before we go to the Hal Bidana, we are the Aizul Mujud. Hal Gaid, we know Otto. We know who is Otto with Dr. Kida. تقولي دوين عاش كيف عشان كلنا نكون عارفين الحاصل شو بالضبط كده وصدر أخوي فضل. Thank you, brother Sabrino. It's always great to be on your platform of Cholo Worldwide TV. I would like to thank you very much and also our audience tonight. It's my pleasure to be here. So that we can have interaction, educate ourselves, and uh, know ourselves, and uh, yeah. So I would like to greet everyone who is watching tonight, wherever you are, whether you are here in Australia, uh, America, Europe, Asia, or even Africa back home. Uh, my greeting to each and every one, and uh, my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Ustadur, and I and I ask you Yes, ma hai sahil nak tu kau mujud. I know kalian nak syukur, tapi asyik al kalam dah mohim jadi. Wah hai fit, hai fit nas kotor. Ti example begulu no asalu asalu al majerib wala dekau. Tapi who idnan mabat? Who idnan mabat? Asyik kita eh no hanis fit. وشورا هيكون له مكان خاص لا يزور. أخوي أوتور الناس عارفك الناس عارفك أوتور أوغو بس في في ناس كتار they don't know you well أوتور أوغو and I love in this platform I love to actually to know people biography where do they came from and how they reach to where they are right now. أخوي أوتور هو أعرفه من هو يسأل أوتور من ياتو منطقة وماذا أنتي حبة حبة لحد ما نصل المحل اللي إحنا عايزين نشوفه أخوي فضل. Thank you one more time, Sabrino. And as I been saying that you know you are you are the one who is bringing up you know people within the community by giving your time and all this and and people to have a better interactions. Now. Could you call about the Cholwala, the English? I don't know. I want you to 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 use English because I want this message to go to all of all of our people. All right. This is not only intended for for Cholwa. We want it to to go across. All right. Cool. Thank you. Because this issue is. Yeah. My name is called Utor, Ubuk, Udok, Alandi. I am from Didik. Penyedoi, and obviously Cholo. And as you've been saying, like let me explain myself better. I don't know whether to say my background, like my journey, been always very ugly until I reach where I am today. You know, the reason why I say it been very ugly is because of the hardship that I went through. Um, you know, uh, from my home area, tricking all the way, like walking, you know, a couple of months, uh, three months or even more from Portugal all the way to Ethiopia, where um, where the, uh, the Red Army, the Red Army, you know, the, the so-called Lost Boys that everyone knows about. They were in a concentrated camp. So I left my home area in around in around um, 1987, close to 1987, all the way to Ethiopia. Uh, it was a dangerous journey, whereby um, you know you have to encounter a lot of a lot of dangerous things on the way, such as hunger, such as thirst. 
wild animal eating people you know um um and you 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 even name the uh, the reason why we are going is because of of the so-called war that been going on in the country so people are walking while we are being chased by the enemy you know and there is hair bombardment and all these you name it so it was one of the dangerous journey until i reached to ethiopia so uh that's me from uh, that uh, roughly like how i started my journey and um then from there there was no that much proper education so the the education actually we started in um uh in in um in 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 kenya in kenya that's when we get the formal education you know that's the real formal education until where we are today so um i did my studies finished year 12 in africa and then i came to australia as a refugee in 2004 i did i enrolled in tef i did some studies and then went to uni and start working my i start working for uh, one of the biggest bank in the country commonwealth bank um uh, yeah and um and um and i left the bank and established my own company called tar finance it's uh it it's a cholo name tar so it, it's named after my daughter uh, tar it's a company that deal with mortgages and finance and even insurances and asset finance so um it's a, it's a yeah i did it and at the same time i was doing some studies I was doing my higher studies and uh complete and i and i have obtained masters in commerce so that is all about me uh is there anything i left out sabrina thank you Salvador. thank you although uh you have went all the way to the uh your last uh destination but let me just try to uh go back a little bit yep uh, it i mean uh that uh go mean mean play uh you okay can you but she has gone africa man okay um uh, my mom is from Ubai, uh, a win, a uh, Ubai boy. And uh, my dad, mom, is, uh, is uh, uh, from Penkang. Uh, we, 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 we are, my, my, we are, sorry, my, we are from Penkang. Oh, Maya. Ba 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 minubai. O wangon ba 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 genjina. Wang 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 wangon ba 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 minadot. Kalam jimir otoro gok. Kalam api. Kalam jimir. So dani umie ba ukai ba yagol. Shandu ke shana sukun Afrika man. Oso dito. Ya ba kwatu. Sorry. Ya ba kwatu. Also, ba very important to connect it as well. So ya ba kwatu. Okay. Oh, Yan Yaba married as well. Ning Tira Chola Catherine Ofa La Yul Obanya Nyatung Yatik. Thank you, Otorogok. As we have just heard, you know, Otorogok, who am I in San Adi, the Wahai in Doma, the Lel Haraka, the Harkish, the Lel Harkish, as they are as. You know, Red Army, and and uh, from uh, Red Army, from the Lost Boy, to turn himself into Wahid Min Anjah Nas Gijru Inu Yisehmu Musahma. You know, Akhuyutor. 
قبل ما انا اخش معاك في شغل بتاعك لانه من خلال الشغل بتاعك انه يعني حنكتشف بعض من الاسرار يب وانت في تيف وانت في تيف كيف انه انت مشيت من تيف and you got employed by one of the australia australian biggest bank is it uh, it was, was it uh, something just happened by accident or there was something special about you or there were a recommendation from the uh, from that institution uh no it, it actually come down to uh you know like as i said before my background is from um, uh, like from being a red army you know lost boys so we pass into very hardship and how to live a life and how be how to be determined you know uh you should always put your head up for any an opportunity so um uh, when i came here i really know like what i want to do it's not did not something just come out of nowhere mm. so i know this is the country that uh this is the last destination and i have to achieve what i want to achieve in life what i was aspiring for so since even before i finished tef and even with the accents we just come from overseas english is not that much good but i have that determination that i i think i can make it you know i think i can make it and i try to put my application through and all thing worked out all thing worked out thank you thank you thank you akhu yutor akhwani ikhwati sabah al khair malakal sabah al khair ya abdul ajaj sabah al khair ya qalb nabit la mamlaka cholo sabah al khair asim al bulaa ala nil wa kama sabah al khair likul ahl al khair tamuk tukun denkawi shulkawi nirawi komawi alay hal انتوا من الناس انتوا من الناس بتاخير انه معك يعني اخوان وهنفضل اخوان اخو يوتور قبل ما انا اخش في اللوب بتاعت الشغل بتاعك انه you know, what do you do how did you come up with that idea in a uh, tenshi a company a financial company which is not something easy especially in a country like australia how was the you know uh you know the uh you know process it, it, like it, is it a better but is it a hal masan kanat yani bikullu basata bikullu sahula wala hiya kanat ijraat kanat mushkila shoya akhu fadal uh thank you uh, for this question one more time uh, sabrino uh before we go into the discussion of uh, of the day i would like to just read um a disclaimer to our viewers especially those who are in australia because this is where i am accredited as a mortgage broker that our discussion here is not personal advice but general in nature and therefore request anyone who want more information to reach out to me privately so any discussion that i do here is just general in nature so that's the first thing i want to say and now back to your question uh you see when i was in the bank i was i was uh, a personal lender so which mean i write loan so to people who want to buy houses um those who want to invest in properties that was my main job when i left the bank and and um i was thinking like uh, it been over 10 years you know i'm working for the bank and let me take it to the next level especially uh, uh for my community especially for my community the the south sudanese i always been seeing that we are the victim in so many things because when i was in the bank i've been seeing a lot of contract you know the financial contract and they're not all right you know it was one of the main reason that took me out that something need to be done you know so that i can educate my community <laughs> and um, and it's something that i have studied as well something that i have worked for almost my time here in australia so let me take to next level and challenge myself you know if i was able to make it in the bank um 
why not? Let me put it into my own perspective, you know? If it grows, that's how it is. So you don't need to lock your mind into one thing, but keep inspiring, keep inspiring, keep, keep doing something that you can be able to help the community and connect and help people, you know? That was the main aim for me to step out of the bank and try something different. Thank you, thank you, Akhoyudor. Uh, as, uh, as, as you can see, uh, our brother Odor has been already, he's already been there. He's been uh, working with the Wahid Min Akbar Bunuk Bitaat, you know, Bitaat Australia. Yani, the Zul, Gidir, you know, Yekteshi Falasar, Al-Kanad Mujimu, Al-Kanad, Al-Kanad Gaima, Fil, Fil, Wahabba, you know, Yisahim, Yisahid, you know, Yisahid Al-Mujimu, Kama Haggo. Akhoyutor. You are a mortgage broker. As a as a mortgage uh, broker, what's the role of a mortgage uh, uh, broker? Yes, for our audience to know what your role. Uh, thank you. Uh, one more time, Sabrino. Um, before I can state my role, um, you see in Australia they have one thing in common that they always say that uh, everyone like. Owning your own home is a great Australian dream. So that's, that's the dream of everyone. But it doesn't come out of blue. Like you can't wake up in the morning and say, oh, I'm going to buy a house. You know, it need, there are some procedures need to be put in place. And, um, and uh, mortgage broker come in, mortgage broker come in so that we can be able to advise. So what we do, we got many, 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 uh, uh, many functions, but I will just mention few. So one of them, we provide real choice, looking to find you the right deal. So there are many deals in the market. Okay, there are many deals in the market, but we give you the right deal that is specific to you. That is the, one of the role of the mortgage broker and the other role is we work with multiple lenders in the country to keep competition alive okay so you can see now in australia here the competition is very high and we are now in a bull market so the properties are booming in the country simply because of the work of the mortgage brokers they say out of every 10 uh, 10 home loan or 10, yeah, 10 home loans settle at least close to seven. They are done through the mortgage brokers. So you can imagine seven out of 10, only three are done by through direct to the bank. Uh, we also, we may also negotiate a better outcome on your behalf than you, if you go directly to the bank. We help at a time and a place that suits you. So we come to your place. I don't have uh, fixed working hours. Anyone can call me. You know, I can meet with you wherever it is. I can go where you are. You can come to me. It's all about you. And the last one, we do the legwork for you as well. So this is one of the function that, uh, that, that I do as a mortgage broker. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Akhu Yutor. Thank you, Anais Eskurochani. Taban, Ana Hina Taban, I know Utor well. Uh, and I've been actually, uh, I'm a client of Utor. Because, uh, no, I have to, uh, oh, thank I, you. Have thank to you. I have to admit it. Uh, because uh, with you, uh, I was able to get, uh, you are uh, very uh, reliable, very, uh, you know, someone who you can trust, you know, you will get a good advice. And I really want also to pass my thanks on this platform, you know, Tar Finance, you are doing a very, uh, a very, you know, a very great job to our our own community. It doesn't oh, thank have you. To, thank you doesn't very have, much for your honesty. Thank you, thank you. It doesn't have to thank be used to our community. It can be new community. You are actually, uh, working with many, many people. Can you just 
uh, highlight that that this point and you you know you you got clients from all thank you thank you look uh, when i left the bank um I have a lot of clients that are following me, all background, not specifically Sudanese. You know, I was talking before it because I come from the community and um, I'm proud of that community. It's just like what we're doing now, okay, to educate our, our community. But my first, when I got my license, you cannot believe 50% of my clients that loan were settled, none of them were Sudanese. None of them were not Sudanese. They were all of all these different backgrounds. Asia, uh, Australian. Um, yeah, 50% of them were all these type of people, you know, until the second quarter that when I started having Sudanese coming in. Yes, but also one of the things I just want to say, uh, and... Um, just, uh, I don't want to be specific in the name, and I thank you for what you just said before. But last year, an example, I have a client who was really, really struggling, okay? Very struggling, was almost losing the house. Almost losing the house because he started getting warning from the bank. So when I look at the case of the client, the client was moving from place to place, you know? When I was looking at his case, and I said, look, I think I can be able to do something. And guess what? When I structure his loan, he was able to buy two houses. And instead of even losing, he was able to buy two houses, two investment, and he's now looking for the third one. He's looking for the third one. So I was able to structure his deal, take it to another bank, you know? And with the, because he got a very good equity. So he was able to buy two houses and another one is approved and is looking for another investment now so it's something like they cannot even believe this you know that how i'm contributing to their asset portfolio how am i how, how i'm contributing to their goal and vision that they were having because their bank couldn't was not able to help them instead they was almost losing the property almost close losing the property and thanks god that they they were referred to me by their friends uh if there's anyone out there who uh 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 you know believe you 100 percent, it's me because i i've been there i work with you and i trust you well i trust well, thank you thank you me. very much it's well, it, it, it's my pleasure I, I, i'm there and that's why i'm always you know uh you ask a mortgage broker for anyone who would like to buy a house. This show is mainly for people who are in Australia, are in Canada, are in the United States, or even I don't know if there's some people in in, in uh, Uganda or in Kenya who will want to buy a house. <laughs> but this is for the people who are, you know. Akhoyutor. <laughs> Yes. What would you, what would you advise? Is it is better for someone who will want to buy a house? What is the best option? Is it going uh, through a mortgage broker or going uh, direct? Uh, thank, thank you one more time, Sabrina. These are the pretty good question. And as I said before, research shows that uh, here in Australia. Research shows that uh, 10 home loans settle at least close to 7% are funded through the mortgage broker because we save you more money and interest rates as your interest is the is as our interest is the client, not the bank. Not the bank. Bank always have some offer that other bank don't offer, and therefore you only know through mortgage brokers, such as bonuses. So sometimes there are some bonuses that are being offered and you don't even know. You may be a CBA client or NAP client or Westpac client, but there are some other banks that also have a better offer that you don't know about, okay? Sometimes it may be the lender's mortgage insurance, that's LMI, okay? 
or the nature of your employment. You don't know about your employment. Your bank may not be able to accept your employment income, okay? But it's accepted by the other, by the other bank. So these are the things that if you come to us, we got all these options. The government also, for example, here in Australia, we have the government schemes, okay, that are running around. You may not be able, your, your bank may not be able to offer those schemes, but they are done by through other, um, other lenders or other credit union. The only way to know that is through mortgage broker. So I suggest coming to a mortgage broker, it's uh, pretty good. We add portfolio to, uh, to what you want. It's more of advantage. So there are many, many reasons that you should choose us more than the bank. Thank you. Thank you, Akhoyutor. Uh, you know, I'll be back with you uh, in the next uh, topic which is uh, reef, uh, reef, uh, reef finance. Uh, as you know, our people, especially those one who came from Africa, we are almost, when we open a bank account with a commerce bank or with, uh, you know, with NAP bank, we always stay with the same bank till the day we die. Yeah, and we have loyalty to a bank for a reason, I'm not sure why. If there's any disadvantage or advantage of, of, of being loyal to a bank? Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. And that's why I said before, Sabrina, if you come through a mortgage broker, we advise you what is good for you. It's not about the bank. So me talking to you as your personal lender or your mortgage broker, I educate you about the benefit of bank like what are the things you need to know so our people they just stick to the bank and bank have million of customers million of customers sometimes they don't want to educate you like what you really want to know they don't you have to find your own way so they treat you as like any additional number or whatever it is. But if you come to me as a mortgage broker, I treat you as my loyal customer, you know, like I take my time to let you know what are the things that you need to know. And if I can, I will advise you that you can. So sticking in one thing is not good. I understand that there are some people until today, when they came here in Australia, they've been taken directly by the case workers to the bank, any particular bank, say common old bank. Until today, they're still there, you know? And the bank is not giving them benefit. The bank is even charging them a lot of fees. They don't even ask. They don't even ask, you see? So when I used to be in the bank before, there are things that, I take my time, you know, I take my time to educate most of my customers. And for those who used to go to, to the brand where I used to work before, you can see I have a very long queue, most of the cases, very long queue. Because I take my time to educate most of my customers who come from even different suburbs, you see. So our people need to, you've been in this country enough, you need to know the financial products is part of your life. It's part of your life, and you have to make a decision. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Akhoyutor. Thank you. You know, most of our people, they, they just don't really do their homework, and they just think like the bank will help them or will advise them or they will get a good advice from the bank while uh, all of them have been ripped off from the bank. If you are if you have been with the same bank for the last uh, 10 years, that means you, you have been ripped off. You need to switch around. You need to do your homework. Our brother here is here to educate you. It's not here to, to tell you 
uh, uh, what to do. Is here to educate you as someone who is been there, someone who in in that business who can really really help you. Akuyuto, let us go to refinance, which is a lot of people don't know the the advantages of doing refinance. For the, the record, I've done refinance uh, before, and I got a lump sum from nowhere. Yeah. Can you just describe what is refinance? Uh, thank you. Uh, before I talk about the refinance, so uh, I don't know whether I said it before, like what, uh, what type of loan that I do as a mortgage broker. Yes, please. So I do a lot of sort of consumer loans such as residential loan, okay? In the residential loan, which is house to lift in or investment, uh, commercial loan, business loan, asset finance, and personal loan. So this is where the word refinance come in. Like um, what sort of, how can I do the refinance? Refinance is simply rewriting your home loan, okay? Rewriting your home loan, either in the same bank or a different bank to achieve a certain objectives in mind, okay? Uh, that's the main reason we do the refinance. So for example, uh, because house is appreciated in this country, okay? There are two things in this, not even only this country, all over the world. There are two types of vehicle people generate wealth from or growth wealth, such as property and the share market, okay? So one of them, my part of, of my, my, my role is today is to do with the property, okay? To generate wealth. So if your property have increased in value, okay? Have increased in value and you're thinking of, of, uh, of purchasing an investment property or you're thinking of buying even um, other assets with a car, or you thinking of uh, of uh, of a renovation? You doing? You want to do the renovation in the house? Maybe you want to change kitchen. You want to change bathroom? Thing like that. Or you got a small debts? You you got a small debts like credit card, personal loan, car loan. You know, all of this. We can refinance to pay them off to pay them off so that you got only one loan. You got only one loan. And if you got a small debts here and there, that's where the trouble always come in. When you look even at the interest rate, it's very high of your credit card. Personal loan is very high, okay? Even your bank, your home loan with the bank where you are. Say you are with, uh, you are with NAB, an example, any bank. Okay, you already is about 7% or 3%. Let me say this statistic, 3%. Okay, we can refinance it and even get one point something or two something percent, depending on what loan product that we have chosen. So you can see there, there is a huge benefit. So there are some people as we speak now, their interest is very high there. They don't even know. Because of that loyalty we just talked about, that you just asked me that because Commonwealth Bank have given me this, I don't even ask, you know, our people don't ask about the interest rate. Interest rate is the biggest thing. So if you are still having three or four, four percent of the interest rate at the moment, then it's like you having two, uh, two properties. Yes. It's like you having two properties now. So you don't even know or you did not have enough information about your home loan okay so refinancing got a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of benefit as i said lower your interest rate okay you can even shorten the term or you can even extend the term of your loan okay and then debt consolidation you can have the cash out you know cash out put into your account put into your account to do anything go on holiday okay go on holiday or maybe you want to help your family overseas something like that you see so these are part of the reason why we do the refinance 
we do the refinance. So the, these are the benefits that are there. Some other bank also, they do, uh, they've got cash bonuses, you know. They, they've got cash bonuses. You might get 4,000, 3,000 for refinancing. So these are the things that you don't know. But if you come to, uh, to me, I will be able to tell you like what we can be able to do, how we can be able to help you to restructure your loan and get those bonuses that you don't have access to through your bank. Uh, thank you. Ahoyotor, and I just that's a good uh, explanation. And I hope that our uh, audience are actually uh, hearing what are you saying because we are here trying to make it easier for for you if you have a house, which is still on the mortgage. Uh, we are here trying to you know find out you know how we can uh, make it easier for our people, especially if you are from any other you know uh, uh, region. You are from Upper Nile. You are from Bar Ghazal. You are from Shawaya. We are here trying to uh, to 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 help you. And our brother Odor is here to actually uh, advise you and see what we can do. Odor, yes, a lot of people in this country they are mil uh, mil millionaires and they and they don't realize they are millionaires and they don't realize that they have if, if, if equity on their houses which they can use to invest but because of lack of knowledge people sit on on this wealth while they can use it to actually uh, maximize uh, their uh, potential. If you have a house in Australia and you've been in, in that house for the last uh, 10 years, that means you have already equity. Can you describe what it means to, what is, is uh, equity? and how can you use and how you can use that equity actually to increase your wealth because at the end our goal is to retire when you retire you retire with at least you don't have to you know be poor our aim is when you retire you retire uh, if you can uh, let me just please know uh, thank you. Uh, as I said before, uh, Sabrina, uh, one way of generating wealth in this country is property. Not only this country, all around the world. Okay. So if you don't, if you have a good mortgage broker, his work is to advise you on how to, how they can help you. So uh, as you said perfectly before, if you bought a house, uh, maybe 10 years ago or two years ago, the price is not the same now. It definitely might have gone up. And when it's gone up, we need to take the equity. So what it means is, say you bought a house, 500,000. That is, uh, take it an example like that. You bought a house, 500,000. And two years after uh, five years or you say five years after that or four years whatever time you you know you want to say it that house the price has gone up has gone up to seven hundred thousand you see have gone up to seven hundred thousand so which mean your equity have increased the price of your house have increased to 200 and you got only debt maybe three hundred thousand so what it means typically, you can have up to 80% of your loan against that house, up to 80%. And the reason why it's being put 80% to avoid the lender's mortgage insurance. Because by law, if you are borrowing more than 20, more than 80%, the bank has to protect itself. Not you. The, the bank has to protect itself. And that insurance is being added on the top of your loan. That's why when you are borrowing the bank, say, do you have 
20% deposit or you have less because they're gonna add the insurance on top of your existing loan. In case anything happened to you and they sell the house and it doesn't bring the price, then insurance pay the bank. So people are making, or people have become millionaires through the property. So when your price of the house have increased, appreciated in value, so they, they, they do a top up either through the bank, same bank where their home loan is, or they refinance their loan and they increase their loan. So as I said before, if we take the same, the same scenario of uh, your loan is 300 and your house worth 700,000, so 80% of that, it may be 560. So you can extend your loan up to 560 and out of uh, 560, take away 300, you got 260,000 sitting in your account that you can use to invest with anything, you know, to invest in anything. You can buy another house with it or you can invest in shares as other people do, okay? Um, yeah, but properties is good. Shares is something else that uh, I don't want to talk about it. The house is good. You can see your house, you know, you see your house. Oh, you can drive and see most of the time. This is my house, you know, at least it encourages you. <laughs> it it encourages you. So that is the equity. That is the equity against the existing loan you have. Thank you. Thank you, Rafael. Uh, and Tarif. Uh, they are used to, you know, politics, but uh, they don't know when also uh, politics is involved also, you know, uh, finance. And, and that's why we are here to actually uh, to make it uh, clear that our, our situation here has changed. We are now not poor anymore, although we still cry that we are poor. Why? Because we are running from job to job. But we are here to, to make it easier. We are, we are here to come up with some few options, you know, how we can get relaxed and be able to enjoy uh, and have time with our kids. That's why my uh, brother Otto is, is here and he's, he's, uh, and he's here to educate us and, and give us also some few tips how we can save and how we can invest. That is the idea. Thank you. As a mortgage broker, because a lot of people here will be asking, do you charge any fees? Do you charge your client any fees? Uh, no. Or is it is no. no. Oh, so, sorry, I just jumped in. You still talking or? Or is it a free of charge? I don't charge. It uh, free of charge, hundred percent. It's a free of charge. Uh, and let me be honest here. If say you go to any mortgage broker, okay, you go to any mortgage broker, and they say they're charging you a fee. Ask, ask. Don't just say, "Oh yeah, I'll give it to you." Ask. You need to know is you right, okay? Because if the bank is able to approve a loan for you. Why should you come to me and I ask you, Tuan, that uh, pay me this X amount? And yet the same thing, you can be able to get it from someone else or from the bank for free. Sir? So that you need to, it is your right. So for me personally, I don't. I don't, I, I don't charge. But one thing also the other people need to know is uh, sometimes a lot of people who come to mortgage brokers, they got default, an example. You have a default, you have your name listed. So to be, uh, to be removed, an example to be removed, definitely it need money. It need money to be removed. But if you are able to do it by yourself, why not? And chances are less, you will not be able to do it unless you have to go to the credit uh, credit clearance agencies. 
So other people, they look at it, that this is the money I paid to a mortgage broker. But no, it's uh, for something different. That's uh, for clearance, to, 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 to clear the default that you have. A default may be some bills, it may be credit card, it may be personal loan or anything, you name it, you know? That is not letting you to have the loan. Thank you, Hudor. And Ataman, I, I, I would like you also to admit it to some of our uh, people, especially from our own communities. Either you are from Nekanwir, Cholo, or from, or from, uh, or from, you know, or from, you know, Estuaia. You know, Hayanan, enter the Kun Ice Loan. Wa Ashadan, has to be enough again that your credit is not good. You will not want to go to Zola enter the Shufuk Ahuk with half, half million of Mokin Masan, Yakshif in the Ginta, your credit is not good, or enter Masan. Uh, your statement is not quite good, and you go to other people whom you don't know. Tahsal in the name of Mosan, Zola Monacundu at Dukan. But the Mazolim should have to come to who? Him should have to come to Avrani, well, at that, well, at that, um, uh, you know, Chinese, well, at that, I, 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 you know, Hatani, just to avoid. Also, the door, yep, as as uh, someone who has no any interest in all this and you are here to give a free advice to our people that it's not about your 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 credit it doesn't matter your credit might be might be bad but still if you can if you can approach if you if you can approach the right uh, mo, uh, mortgage uh, broker someone like you that your issue can be sorted out can someone who has a bad courage get a loan yes that is one of the things you know um with the, as i said before mortgage brokers are accredited with big bank in the country a small medium one in the bank in in the country or a small one or even some online okay uh there are some banks there are some banks that take bad credit uh, customers you can only access them through mortgage brokers. You cannot get it through the bank directly. So we got all these options. We got all these options that we can present to you. But before you reach to that option, I have a lot of customers that I have indicated. You know, there are some people, they, um, they come to me, they're ready to buy a house, okay? They're ready to buy a house. Now, when I check their credit history and they have default, definitely I will advise them that, look, the best thing to do before you buy a house to clear this, okay? To clear it so that you can be able to save a lot of money. Because if we put you through this bad credit uh, company, it's like uh, you buying three houses into one or two houses into one. You see, and one thing I have noticed to our people is, uh, especially when you are a first home buyer, you just need the keys of the house. That's it. Just the keys, brother. You just need the keys. No, this is a long journey. It's a 30 years. It's a 30 years. It's more than, uh, it's more than your years left because we're buying houses now. We are 30 something or 40 something. Okay. So, it's a, it's a long journey, so it's better to get it right. Don't rush, okay? You need to get enough information. So I educate my customers what they need. I educate them. We, we, if, if there is no default on their name, I give them some strategies of what to work on, thing to work on so that they can be able to achieve the dream. Like I said before, owning a home in Australia is is our dreams here it doesn't matter what age you are definitely you're gonna buy a house so all are welcome whoever is in the market whether you um, or you or you're not even in the market you're thinking that in the nearest future i'm at um, i'm at thing of buying a house uh, come so that I can educate you. Like, what do you need? 
you know, what are the things that you need to put them in place so that when the time comes, you're ready for it. When the time comes, you're ready for it. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, do you charge any fees for someone to come and just, you know, ask you a, a, a question or ask uh, someone like uh, uh, the first home uh, buyers, someone who want to get into a um, um, market, want to find out, you know, how things get done? What is the, the, uh, the, the credit score for you in order to get that loan? Do you charge uh, any? any I don't charge. It, it definitely mm -hmm. free of charge. Thank you. It definitely you. free of charge. Thank you, Ahoy. Yep. Ahoy. Thank you. Ahwani, Ahwati, and I say, here come Tani. My hino says, Utter Ugwok, from the lost boy, from the Red Army, to become Wahid Min, uh, uh, the founder and the CEO of TAR Finance. This guy deals in not in thousands he deals in um millions even if you if you want a loan worth uh, more uh, uh worth of uh, two um um millions 10 brother Otter will help you he has been there before he has done it and i'm here as uh, a, 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 a witness Let me just uh, let me just ask you this, Ahoy. Sad Hayanan. Our people now, uh, the good thing, you know, our community, a lot of them have already owned houses. They have already bought houses, which is, is still on loan. While we know, you know, the loan from bank to bank is not uh, uh, the same, especially uh, uh, when it's come to, to the interest rate. How come those people who have bought houses, how can they take, how can they, they take the opportunity which we have right now with low interest? How can we get that opportunity now? If you are with your bank, what would you advise them to do uh, right now? Uh, my so advice is, um, uh, as we just mentioned some of them before, if you've been in the bank, your own bank where you took the loan more than two years ago or five years ago since you bought your house, chances are uh, your interest rate is up there. <clears throat> is up there and uh, it needs to be uh, refinanced. It needs to be refinanced so that uh, you can get a cheaper rate. It needs to be refinanced. If you don't want to refinance it, uh, you can approach your own bank and uh, negotiate with them but if you, even though you negotiate with them chances are less for them to give it to you uh, to give you the the low interest rate because you are existing customers the bank always like uh, new customers so you are existing they don't care that's why they will just treat you like a number and uh, coming through me as a mortgage broker then I take care of you, I do the rest. So we do the thing behind your back. We negotiate on your behalf. I take the initiative on your behalf with the bank and get a better offer. So the, the advice for our people, for anyone who is out there who have owned a house for the last uh, you know, five years and you're still with uh, the same bank, that means you have been ripped off because your interest will not be as it is right now. And so, Doctor, I believe this is uh, the best time if you want to pay your interest quick or your mortgage quicker, or even you want to reduce your mortgage. I think this is the best time to do so. Do you agree with me? Yes, definitely, definitely. Look, as I said in the beginning, uh, the Australia property they are in the bull market. You see, so the, the the prices are up there. The interest rate is very low, you see. So the market have never been like this in Australia. It never been like this. They're now talking that, um, uh, they're talking the market or the property market have 
reach uh, nine bill nine, nine trillion in history it never gone like that you know that's why everything become like out of control now so they're thinking of slowing down even the even the the lending okay the the thinking of slowing down the lending now because everyone is out there everyone is out there so if if your red is still there this is the honeymoon time red and it will never uh it will never be the same like this probably it will never be low like this a lot of people they are in one point one something percent nearly two percent some are two point something percent so but the worst of they are still on four on three there are some loans that i have so people are still on four percent and yet some of your colleagues or some of your friends or family members they are on one point something percent so That's you right. difference here i know you may not be able to understand it but it's uh uh it, it's too huge you different that you need to see a mortgage broker you need to see me if you are interested da da taban kalam anais anais adif haja fi no if you if you are if you if you don't know that you are paying 4% of of on interest right now that's mean uh the 2% the extra 2% you are paying right now because you have not done your homework you have not done uh a uh, uh, refinance that 2 2% it could have helped you to pay off of or to reduce your principal is it correct correct 100% 100%. 100%. So, Because a lot of people mm. on one point something and you are still on four there. So when you do the subtraction, just simple math, or say worst case scenario, you are on two. Just a worst case scenario. You are, the, the, the base rate you could have get is 2%, but you are on four. So different of two. Different of two. So it's like two mortgages. So the advice is, please come and check our uh, brother let our brother otor look at your uh, home loan if it's everything is fine sure he will yep. not uh, he will say everything is good if it's not good you will you will hear it from us otor and i know this is uh, the best time to pay extra yep just because of low interest true 100% yep thank you otor yep. thank you now for those people who are still out there we have a lot of people older who have been in this country for the last uh, 20 years and they have not bought houses and you, you, you know uh, we cannot uh, say why but while they might have the uh, capacity to buy a house but because of fear of or because of no of of just thinking that i will be going back home also for those uh, the first home <coughs> buyers for anyone who want to get into uh, the market uh, right now how much uh, exactly uh, deposit they will they, they will they will they will have to have in order for them to buy a house Uh, that's a pretty good uh, question sabrina there are two things uh, one <clears throat> there are some people outside there uh, since they come in the country they are scared that uh, taking a loan um, uh, it will tie them down and you know it's too much and all this you know so they are scared of taking the risk okay uh, what i just want to say that the first thing before i come because it's connected to the first home buyer uh, is connected with the deposit yes uh what i just want to say is um <clears throat> you see in life if you don't take the risk you will never succeed you never know what will come good we take the risk to come to australia or to go to america places that we have never even dream of you never know like how you're going to reach there you never know we have come here when uh, we came here in australia specifically here in australia an example our mindset 
in the beginning when we first come that we all need a commission houses commission houses you know commission houses every person want to live in a commission houses there was no dream of i want to buy a house that this is the place where i'm going to live and that time just to buy a land in where we are now it's like a personal loan fifty thousand it's like a normal personal loan you can take and buy a piece of land and that piece of land fifty thousand when we came it's now over it's now roughly at least half a million that's the price half a million so my advice is this things have changed with over the time it started with some few individuals who bought the houses and everyone else now a lot of people they are in the market a lot of people buy bought houses that's good we are contributing into the development of australia that is what i said before owning your home is the great australian dream and it's a life journey don't wait for too long especially mortgages are connected with ages with age so the more you wait you become old the more complicated you're gonna not afford or you're gonna not have the mortgage because mortgage go according to the retirement age so whatever age you are now plus 30 years is being put on and the retirement age is roughly say 65 so whatever age you have so say you are 30 35 and then plus 30 so you have to retire at the age of 65 and that's the time the loan will finish that's how they put it roughly but the loan will be paid off earlier now uh, some bank majority of the bank the initial deposit they need is five percent okay so you don't need to have this a hundred of thousand because so mr x bought a house and told you that oh i went to the bank i have 120,000 or i have 200,000 as a cash so yeah definitely that what the bank want you to have no don't listen to those people you know don't listen to that you just need 5% so typically an example say you the, the house is 600,000 that is the purchase price okay so the 5% that you may need is 30,000 so seriously, if you are in the market and you want to buy a house, 5% you can be able to afford within a year if you limit your budget, your expenses, you know? You will definitely uh, get that amount because that 5%, not every bank will accept, but if you come through me, at least there are some banks that we can squeeze you in. The more deposit you have, the better. But if you can afford to have more than five percent that's fine not everyone can afford to have five percent you will uh, be charged lenders mortgage insurance that will be capitalized on your loan it will be capitalized on the top of your loan so um there are good deal outside there for example <clears throat> some schemes there are so many schemes that been coming on okay for example there is a scheme going on at the moment called uh Call a home buyer fund scheme. The home fire uh, home buyer fund scheme, it's uh, giving an opportunity for the first home buyers to buy a house. And you just need to have, you just need to demonstrate the genuine saving of five percent that you may have saved over the years or over the over the month, over the month. And your income should be up to maximum if you are single, maximum of one hundred and. 25,000 that's the maximum up to up to yani, up to yani, whatever amount up to and then combine income if you are husband and wife up to 200,000 if you are a first home buyer to be eligible for that scheme now the way how it works the government will fund you 25 percent will the government will fund you 25 percent of the of the purchase price and because the prices have gone so high in the country, especially here in Melbourne, they put it, uh, they put it, uh, the maximum price is up to 980,000. So if you bought a house up to 980,000, they give you 25% of that, then plus your 5%, so 30% deposit, 
and then 70% will come from the bank. That is pretty good, you know, that's pretty good. So all these, you cannot be able to find them from the bank if you go to the bank. Like now, there are some good, um, good people, you know, they listen to the news and things like that. They go to their bank. And when they go to their bank, like I've been called, I've, I've been getting a phone call from some of my colleagues who are still in the bank. They say, hey, Utor, we have customers coming. They, they said there is a home scheme and the bank can give us 25 and they are going to apply for that. I said, send them to me. You know, you guys don't, don't have it. You know, your bank doesn't offer. Big bank doesn't do it. Send them to me, you know. So if you don't ask, if you don't come to a mortgage broker, you will not know. You know, so there are good deal outside there. So the ball is in your hand. If you want to do something, do it. This is an opportunity for us. Thank you. Thank you, Afyutor. Thank you. That was a good, really, really, I hope, you know, our, uh, uh, I hope, you know, uh, everyone out there is hearing this because this advice it costs a lot. It's a lot of money there. But we are here trying to... Sorry, we just to add something on that, on a home buyer. I just want to add one thing on that. Um, yeah. uh, it has to be, you are a first home buyer. So you have never bought a land before or mm. bought a house before. So this should be your first time to buy a house. And if you are an Aboriginal, it's a 3% as a deposit, not 5%. So five percent is for non-Aboriginal. Just to, to make it uh, clear that 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 that, that clear, to make it clear, uh, is it also applied to those people who buy house as one unit, like a mother, a father, a son, and a daughter? That their name can be in the same mortgage when they go and try to buy their own houses. Would they buy it as first home owners or now they are already, you know, how that one works? No, no, no. Yeah. That's the tricky part. That's the tricky part. So say if you have a daughter or a son mm. who want to buy a house because that's the first time for them to enter in the market. If you want to put your name in, like to help them, then they are not eligible for that anymore. They are not eligible because their parent already bought a house. But you can only combine with them um, if it is an investment. So it has to be purely, you never bought a house, anyone never bought a house before. So if you are combining with someone who bought a house, whether your dad or someone you want to marry and you're coming together, and one of you bought a house before, you are not entitled. Thank you, Brother Otor. Yeah. <clears throat> Phil Karamba Linta Gabrishua and Linta Otto Gabrishua, you know, you know, it's better if you get the the, the, the advice from the from the uh, from uh, the people who are actually in that business. And how you can't have an in Hawaiian and Nazbitana, and one of them, and one of them will go out there, uh, 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 you know, bragging that I had two hundred uh, deposit in my account, and then when that news goes to uh, uh, Zola Lai's cherry, or mine will be the same amount. That uh, that <laughs> guy will will actually will uh, make him feel like Kanu he's not, uh, you know, of of for it, and that what keep people uh, give people uh, you know doubt that they cannot afford it. But the advice from our brother Torino, please, it doesn't matter how much you how much uh, money you got go and ask the people who knows what is going on another thing also i needed to... even before you go to the next even mm -hmm. if, even if you don't have uh, if you don't have a deposit but it is something that you wanted to do is one of the goal that you wanted to achieve by next year you need to put some strategies now so you need to come and ask like i have some few customers of mine now that i'm educating them you know young young people you know they are saving so i tell them what to do and by next year they're ready to do it you know they're working hard they're saving so this is the plan whether you got zero but so long as you're thinking of buying a house okay what 
what are the things that you need? Come forward. You see, if the thing, if it is in your heart and mind that you want to achieve it, you will do it. And also for our young people, for our young kids, those who turn 18, you are entitled to enter into the contract. The moment you turn 18, you can have the mortgage. You can board a house. There is a breaking news last year, last year, a young girl, exactly when she turned 18, she bought a house. Her mom or dad never contributed any single cent. When she started working in McDonald's or KFC or something like that, she never spent anything. You know, she'd been putting into the bank. When she turned 17, she come to the bank. She said, now I'm turning 17, next, 18 next year. What are the things that I need to do? She was told, this is what you need to do. And if you are to meet this condition, definitely you will buy a house. You see, you will buy a house. So she was able to work hard and get promoted at work where she is so that her income will go higher and higher and all this, you know. And she was able to get the 30, the the five percent deposit of any purchase price. Luckily, also the government, because of the coronavirus, the government were giving, uh, I think, thirty thousand. The federal government were giving thirty thousand to the first home buyers, and at the same time, the state were also giving another thirty thousand yes. plus her own deposit. She was like, "Wow, you know, she will not miss this opportunity." She bought a house. It was all over the news at the age of 18. It's something in her heart that I want to buy something, you know. So our young people um, within our community, opportunities are there. Opportunities are there. So when you start working and things like that, please try to save as much as you can. It has to be something in your heart. If you want advice, give me a call or go to your, your bank. Get an advice what I need to do. I just want to do something. The properties are the best. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Brother Otto. I, I remember uh, since uh, in 1980s, uh, uh, when the war uh, you know, broke out uh, you know, in South, a lot of people from South, they came all the way to North. And then some people started to buy houses. Some people said, no. We are not going to buy houses because we will be going back home. Those people now, they've been in, in north for the last uh, 30 years with, 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 with no houses. And this is what we need to avoid here. Uh, we came to, this, uh, to Australia to seek a better life. You know, some of us will die here. And also some of us will retire, you know, back home. This is your opportunity to actually own your own house. It doesn't matter how big is it, as long as it's yours. Otto Rogo, Ahoy Otto, the CEO of Tar Finance. Some people, when they see Otto has bought a double story house and they are still in your age and you guys look the same. They feel like I need to actually, I need to, uh, I need to go above water, or I need to, to you know, buy the same house, while uh, your situation might not be uh, uh, the same. And also, buying a house is it's not about the size, it's not about the how much is it, but at the end, it's yours. No one is going to ask you get out of it. So Tor, what would you advise those people who will, who will always think like, to buy a house, you have to buy the best one? Look, <clears throat> we all have a dreams, okay? We all have a dreams and, um, and dream come based on your capabilities, based on how hard you have worked for and uh, reach where you are. My advice, 
to people don't compare yourself we all have a different journey we all have a different responsibility we all have a different goal okay i may have a double story house and you may have a single story house but i don't know what you might be doing behind you know you might be doing things that i'm not even doing you know so don't compare yourself with uh, with your friend or whatever it is um but use it as something to inspire you you know something that will encourage you so if utun is doing well i could come and talk to you in a way how were you getting this you know like if he said like example i said before my deposit was this much it i shouldn't assume that may be the deposit that i should go with as well no it's not like that okay but at least i need to be working i need to have some deposit and bank will give it to me alone you know come to the right person and ask come to the right person and ask some people i want to tell you something when i was in the bank some people they start saving that oh i want to buy this big house like this i want to buy a house like this but time keep going time keep going time keep going you see and now they're thinking of buying a house when the prices have doubled almost double so if they could have bought a house like five years or four years ago could have been better now they're buying a house that the price has doubled itself you see we can't afford right now so for those who say that oh i'm keeping saving and thing like that your saving will never grow as much as you expect as i said before there are two way how people generate wealth that is the property you invest in property the price keep multiplying and cheers as well you see so money sitting in the bank like now money sitting in the bank it doesn't give any return there is no return on the money so that's why the properties market is booming like no yesterday you know or like there will be no tomorrow because all these investors the uh, the fund managers the superannuation companies they are all in the property market you see because rent is million time better than keeping money in the bank it's not doesn't give you anything but rent it's a huge income if you put on a property so don't be scared for those do whatever you can and for a worst case scenario say you lose your job an example you lose your job always there are options there you can change your loan to interest only whereby you will not pay the principal so if you change your loan to interest only you pay less so if your loan is 400 it will stay like 400000 until you start paying your principal so my advice to you don't get scared do it now mortgages is part of the australian dream and this is our contribution when we start buying houses and or investing in the properties that when the australian going to see we are contributing into the development of the country so this issue of like when we went to the north as you give an example before it's not a good idea you see jam on it and start doing it the property it doesn't disappear even if you are to go and this is the same mistake that we wanted to do when we entered into australia you know when we first came because everyone want to go back home no one want to make the commitment for the kids here or for yourself so please you have an opportunity to buy a house thank you thank you sudor before i go to the interest rate uh let me just uh, ask you this is it owning a home is it owning a home will co- cost you the same amount by renting no well in the beginning it may cause you a little bit more but with the overtime it may be less and to be honest with you with the current environment at the moment we are in 
at the moment with the interest rate, owning a home is less than renting. That's true. Repayment of your mortgage is less than renting. I agree with that. Yes, is less is less than renting at the moment we speak. And the money also you pay uh, as a renter, that money is like the money is going in the bin. There yes. is no return on that. Correct. So the advice is if if you are renting, be advised that there is no any good outcome out of it. As long as you have the you are able to own uh, 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 your own house, you are advised to come and see our you know, brother. He will help you and you will not... Uh, uh, being ready. Uh, people will know that there is something called uh, you know, fixed rate, there's something called uh, 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 variable uh, rate. What's the difference between those two rates? And how? Uh, that, that's a pretty good one, uh, Othun, you know, and that is the beauty of, uh, of, uh, of having a mortgage broker to to have a journey with you with all these, you know? Uh, interest rates are subject to change, okay? They are subject to change and are likely to fluctuate. It might go up or down, depending on over the lifetime of the home loan. And this might affect your repayment due to rate. So if the interest rate go up, if your interest rate is a standard variable, an example, and it go up, the, your repayment go up with the extra because of the interest but the, and if it drop it also drop as well so these are the benefit of the uh, if it drop it, you you get the benefit of that okay but if it go up then your repayment is higher that is the disadvantage of the standard so it's, it's it, it just fluctuates depending on how the interest rate move how the interest rate move so that's the standard variable. And the fixed rate, home loan, it's uh, it's predictable, like how much exactly your repayment will be. So if you locked in for two years, three years, four years, at least you're budgeting for yourself. That for the next four years or three years, I can be able to uh, to budget myself. My repayment is 2000 a month, and that's it. So it will not change. So at least peace of mind, you know? peace of mind by that time something can so basically it's uh, give you a certainty of the repayment uh, make budget easier for yourself you can plan for what you want to do you have locked in the interest rates uh, that you will not worry about the environment because anything can happen interest rate will move interest rate will move due to the changing of uh, economic demand due to changes of economic demand. Yep, thank you. Thank you, Sister. On that also note, uh, is it possible to uh, uh, divide the same loan, half of the loan as a variable in, uh, interest and the other half as fixed in, interest? And what's the advantage of that? Yes. Uh, I call it I call it uh, the honeymoon. We give you a honeymoon rate, you know? Okay. Honeymoon rate. So it's divided uh, in a way that, say, for example, you have 400,000 home loan, okay? So you fix 200,000 for a specific period. So normally uh, the fixed loan is from one year to five years. You don't go more than that. It's very hard to go more than five because of the government regulation around it they don't want it so it has maximum is five years so from one to five years so you locked in for whatever that period and then you leave the variable to move up or down depending on what it is but also um like we have to ask you what is the reason why you do that okay because say, for example, you're self-employed, okay? You're self-employed or you may be accessing money all the time you need, you know? So it's best to have a standard variable. So you put whatever lump sum in and anytime you can take it out, 
you want. Because if it's fixed, you have a certain amount that you can put into the fixed loan. You can't just decide and put whatever you put. No, it doesn't work like that. So there is a certain amount that you can put in. But variable, you can uh, put whatever extra you can put into the loan and redraw it out if you want to use it. So yes, it's possible you can split your loan. And uh, other people define it easy that way uh, to have two loan repayment. But some people, they're happy with the one repayment. They don't want to have more than one loan. So too many repayment they don't want. They're comfortable with just one. Okay. Yep. Okay, okay, Akhuyutor. Sabah khir. Alakal. Sabah khir. Sabah khir. Ya kalba nabit. Le mamlaki cholo. Sabah khir. Ya asimir gula ala nil. Wa kama sabah khir. Le kulu ahl khir. Aswani akwati. Maayi hina. Wahid min. I cannot describe that that guy, but from Red Army, from the Lost Boy, to be uh, the founder and the CEO of Tar Finance. This company, this company is well known in Australia, especially in in in, in Melbourne. That's why we were happy and we were glad to bring him on board, so we can actually. Uh, get some tips on how we can help each other, how we can, you know, have some moment with our own kids. For uh, someone who had 500 uh, loan and he's paying right now two thousand a month, and the life is not easy for you to get that money, that means you have to do at least. Two jobs yep. or the parents have to really work uh like one at night and one after uh, like uh one one of them will be out another person will be inside and there is no time for us as an island to come together in one place what's your advice how can they reduce that amount of money so they can actually have some time for themselves with their own kids Instead of paying two two uh, thousand a month, if they can pay at least one thousand four hundred a month, or you know, or you know, five hundred, so they can have that time, so they can also enjoy the moment instead of just running from work to work, day and night. I hope to that. Thank you, uh, brother Sabrina. That's a pretty good question. You see, life in this country, it's. Um... <clears throat> It's full of up and down, and especially if we don't organize ourselves, then uh, this life will take us, you know? And then we forget about ourselves and about the kids that we have the responsibility to raise as well. Um, <clears throat> that amount you just said before, or the commitment we have in the house, it's, uh, as I said before, if you are stuck in one bank, you are stuck in one bank, and uh, your interest is still high there, that's what you've been paying all this time, it did not go down, something is not right. Especially when the news keep talking about the interest rate is low across the board, okay? And they talk about um, your repayment should have reduced by now, and it did not reduce. Then it is your right. You don't expect bank to come and knock on your door that Uthun, oh yeah, you know, your home loan should be like this or we do it like this. Nah, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. Bang, they are there to make business. They are there to make profit. That's why they announced they got this billion dollars in a year, you know? It is because of your repayment. So you have to chop around. You have to chop around. You have to come and see mortgage broker like me. Now, what I just want to say, me as a mortgage broker, even though I'm based in Melbourne, it's not only specifically I do the loan for Victorian. No, I'm accredited all over Australia. So whether you are in Perth, you are in Brisbane, you are in Sydney, 
or Canberra, I can be able to do your loan. So we can do a visual, uh, a visual, um, a visual application over the phone, a visual application. You know, we can do it online, and uh, it's acceptable. So I don't need to see you physically, physically like you know, like the way we're talking like this. All can be done. So wherever you are, I can definitely do it for you. Even right now in Melbourne with the lockdown, I don't see clients. But everything is all over the phone, visual, online. So if you have that commitment, you need to see me. If I don't, and I'm very honest with a lot of people, if anything you have, and I'm not able to do it, I will say, look, this is the best we can be able to do it, or this is you are already in the best deal, you don't need to come out. But again, remember also I said earlier that if if uh, if you are struggling with with the repayment and all this stuff, you can make it interest only, and you pay less. So if your loan is about five hundred with this current interest we are in now, you might be paying probably around nine hundred, nine hundred and something a month interest only you know interest only so when you check your statement you see that that the interest you repay you're making a repayment of two thousand a month but the interest the bank charge you you can easily clear within the transaction and it's showing this x amount so that's what you can do but yeah i'm more than happy to guide anyone who want me to review their loan because it's something need to be told to you you know I'm more than happy to review anything. Thank you. Ahuidor, and as and as we are almost uh, we are almost uh, almost uh, done. I need to just clear this one and make it clear also to our, our brothers here in Australia, or if you are in the United States, for those who are in Africa. You know, Sahar Hayana, we have become employees. We have become employers for those people who are in Africa. Uh, we send them, uh, you know, uh, like money every month, you know, and at the same time, yani, garin ma auladum yalum yakulu kishrobo. While we who are here outside, we are running around trying to really, really pay our bills and also help them. At the same time. We don't have even time to sit down with our kids, and that's why now we see, you know, Gabri, you know, Gabri, you know, is born. We have lost, you know, five young kids in car accident. That's because uh, uh, the parents have not enough time for the for their kids. They might be running around trying to get money, pay, send money to Africa, pay their bills, pay their uh, mortgages, which has really become a bit hard. People are really under hardship here. We are in Australia, we are in the United States, we are in Canada, but life here is not easy. And that's what our brother Otto was here to advocate, was here to actually enlighten us, you know, how we can actually get things right so we can enjoy ourselves. While we are helping our uh, brothers back home, at the same time, we don't have to also abandon uh, you know our responsibility as, as you know the parents. If I miss, if I have not asked you something, you think it will be worth gogi pension. My brother, it would be good that if you can let your audience know. Uh, thank you, Sabrina. One thing very, very, very important that I do when I was in the bank, and that's the same thing that I do here now, it's insurance cover. Yes. Insurance. You see, someone have written before, um, it's in one of the books, that if you are born in Australia, or we are in, or you are in Australia, or in America, or, or in Europe, then you have won a live lottery live lottery so what it means simply is uh, you have access to better health 
healthcare, education, and the legacy that you want to leave behind. Uh, insurance cover is very, very important, whether you have a house or you don't have a house. It's important for our life, and especially if you have kids or even you start having debts, you start having debts, such as home loan. And many questions that will come in your mind when you have kids, when you have debts, that will come in your mind is, what if accidental death occur? How will my family live? That the question will come in your mind. What if I could never work again? I can't, I wake up in the morning, but I can't go to work. What's gonna happen to my house? Will we have a time to, uh, to bring food on the table? These are the type of questions that should come in your mind. That, what coverage? that will be our next, that will be our next uh, topic. Okay. That will be our next uh, topic. We will, we will be coming again live because we need to educate ourselves. The shell here, better bar, more than home loan and uh, 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 the finance mum had us. Is boy jai, is boy jai wala al 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 halka hagen jai hai kun bechtas be modu kar insurance. Yeah, you know, but what I wanna uh, say also before you go to the next where we can discuss it next time, but very important also, yeah. it's part of my role in my company. Okay, so I am partner with the insurance companies. So whether being it a car insurance, that's what I was about to go to. Whether mm. being it a car insurance, a house insurance, life insurance, all these, you know. So these are the things that uh, that I can be able to organize with a better competitive price than when you go to the bank directly or you call up any company online, you know. So you get much discount through us, through Ta Finance, with the companies that uh, I have partnership with them. So, but thank you. Yeah, so we can discuss it next time. Yep. I know the insurance is a very, very big topic, and I'm really interested in that uh, <laughs> because that's how we can pass the wealth. The wealth get passed through insurance. And if you want to make sure that your child, who is right now, six years now, live a comfortable life in future after you die, insurance is a way of coming up with these options. Who you talk? We will be. We will discuss also uh, the all of the types of insurance. We will yep. discuss that. Uh, uh, you know, a lot of us we don't insure ourselves when we die. Like we don't have. Uh, uh, General insurance. While we can afford to send money to, to Africa every month and we cannot insure our lives, that is a very, very, you know, very, very sad, uh, you know, situation. And that's why we need to discuss those issues. And hopefully, a lot of us <coughs> have to come up with this option. And we need to insure ourselves against anything because we are here. We are not here by accident. We are here to. Make life easier for ourselves and for anyone who is out there. Aho you talk. Let me play this song. Give them an after mark. Well, Asma Minak, your uh uh your uh the last word. Let yep. me let me play this song. And please let me know if you can hear me. Let me check this one. There's something not quite right with my uh, audio here. I don't know. Let me check here. It's a bad day. 
Ah, uh, yes, you're right. <laughs> it's supposed to be actually at the best day, you know, because we are talking about, you know? Yes, it should so, be the best day, correct. Oh, uh, and that's why I had to put this on here, but something not quite right. Let me uh, try again. Are you, are you hearing that? There is no sound of it. Are you hearing that? Yes. Malish, the sound Mac and Quays. Ahoy. It was so good having you this young. And we are so happy that you can go me too. Uh, we are know, I know our uh, you know community is you know blessed. And if uh, if this was uh, the first time uh, for you to know our, our brother Odor, he is a CEO of Tar Finance. That company is being used by many people. Afghanis who knew everyone, please come and ask our brother, and you will never, you will never uh, 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 regret it because I know I've been there before, and I'm really, really happy with everything I got from my uh, brother Otor. Ahoy, if you can just say, Tofi Haya Ma Gizeta Agulu, or if you want to pass a, a message. Please, that will be uh, your time. Ahoy for that. Uh, thank you uh, one more time, Sabrina. It's my pleasure to be on a platform. Uh, it's my privilege uh, for me to go over uh, what our finance do and uh, to use yourself. Um, it's something that I was not expecting because uh, what I do, it's uh, all privacy between you and me. And no one will never know like what I have done with so and so, unless if they use themselves. You see, um, it's my privilege, it's uh, my happiness uh, to use yourself as an example, that someone that, uh, that we went through this journey and uh, you're doing very well. You are one of the people in the community. Not only people see you in this TV. Uh, this is I call it a pro no, uh, pro pro bono work for the community. But you are very successful in your life with your family, the way how you handling things. So a plan. Any family or any person who doesn't have a plan and vision, you will never succeed in this country. So. Our brother Sabrino, uh, as he have used himself as an example, the person that I have helped through our finance, uh, he put himself like, what does he really need? And how can he go there? So I think all of us can have the same journey. Mortgages to our viewers who are watching this tonight. Mortgages is the only way that will change your life, whether through investment or us to live in. It's one of the legacy that you will leave behind for your family. It's one of the thing every generation coming, whether your child, they need to own a house. They need to own a house. There are good stories outside there, how people started. I'm more than happy anyone to approach me through Tar Finance, the website is there. Uh, I can connect with you. 
you know how i can help you how i can add the value to your uh, to your journey to the dream that you want to achieve i make sure i maximize your your chance of getting a house or if you have existing house i can be able to refinance your loan and put something so anything that will give you a benefit it will be my pleasure and if i don't add anything to your portfolio then i will definitely advise you that it's not worth it you know to refinance your loan so i'm there my community i speak your own language i speak i speak arabic i speak uh, cholo and all these are our local languages so i'm more advantage to you guys uh approach me just like some of you been approaching me and uh, i've been able to help them structure whatever they need to do uh use me this license um is for all states not only in melbourne that i can do the loan any states i can i can be able to do it yeah so this advice also might goes to those who have houses even in us uh use your mortgage brokers i think us they use mortgage brokers so uh, I, i don't know whether they get the loan directly to the bank but what i heard is most of the loan are taken through mortgage brokers in us so they maximize your chance of buying a house so it has to be one of your goal it's very easy so long as you get the right person uh, the rest will just flow i know it's very daunting you know long process but if you get the right person to work with you it you will definitely achieve it so that's what i want to say uh, approach me easy person um i will answer my calls email me anything that you want to ask i will definitely achieve your goal of honing the australian dream and thank you here you got it from the man himself from our brother uh the founder the lost boy the red army the founder and also the ceo of tar finance what an incredible journey akoyotor you are a source of you know pride we are lucky that to have uh, someone like you in in our in our own community akoy thank you shukran for everything you have been doing uh, so far you have been sponsoring our community day and night you have been doing a lot of things which people don't know but we are the one who are there we know that and really akoy i just correct i think come on let's go i'll attack la ring ta didna min wakil bita in to kon mana you know alela and i hope our brother who is out there if you have a mortgage and you have been with the same bank for the last four years five years a cut that you have been ripped off please come approach our uh, brother otor i've done it and i know the uh, result and that's why i'm i'm here i'm here as shahid ma 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 zor sakit akhoy tor ashkur akhoy wa ana is adik ana is ana is al al ana is al ana is adik tega oni da as an hadiya bitai like leginta wala aida bitai oh what is that ya ko ya mad i get ga ngeñ so ngar yobo ngeñ ba ma ci ba do o do romia ba dier ba dier no boy no boy are you hearing this oh yeah
Thank you, I wish my child do better to do link and yeah, it's it's really very nice song. Uh, Moga Gabamina, incredible, you know. No, no, they very, are doing, very, very, very nice. They are, they are doing great. <laughs> they, they, they are doing great. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah, and I just got a Thank you. I come on. I just got a joke on Mojud was all good. You know, share the post. We are here to empower ourselves. That's all we are, uh, we are here for. Get joke. He might be gone. He may go on. Uber, Uber, Naval. No, you mean. Thank you, thank you, what well, thank you so much. Viewers, who know that Ben Kulum? Talking and I hear 
Yeah, I'll 